Welcome back. Are you ready for another cool story? Today's book is what to do when things are not going our way, when we have too much homework, when we've just had a big fight with our best friend, when instead of getting an A on our math test, we got a B minus, when life is just not great. What do we do? Let's find out. Happy Right Now, written by Julie Berry, with illustrations by Holly Hatton. Julie grew up on a 50-acre farm in western New York, the youngest of seven children. She said they grew much of their own food, and harvested eggs from their own chickens and kept turkeys, pigs, rabbits, and oodles of cats and dogs. Now, she and her husband have four boys, two in college and two teens, and two girl cats named Athena and Nisha, and they live in Southern California. Holly Hattam is a picture bookmaker, greeting card designer, and textile engineer. She says when she's not illustrating, she can be found hugging trees, drinking tea, and dreaming of unicorns. She's happiest when she's snuggling up with her husband and son, and they live in Ontario, Canada. I'll be happy when I get a puppy, a unicorn, and an ice cream sundae, and a castle with a friendly dragon. Or, I can be happy right now. I'll be happy when the clock clicks the last second of the school day on the last Friday before vacation. Or, I can be happy right now. I'll be happy when everyone adores me. When everyone adores me for being brilliant, brave, beautiful, popular, and amazing. Or I can like me right now and be happy just as I am. I'll be happy when the worry monkey gets off my back. My chores are done and nobody's grumpy. Or, I can feed the worry monkey a banana and party with him on the jungle gym. We'll both be happy right now. Why not? I'll be happy when the rainstorm slows, the icicles melt, the clouds Leave town. And the sun says, Come play. Or, I can be happy any day, in mittens, in boots, or in soaking wet puddles. Wetter is better anyway. I'll be happy when the sneezing stops. No more sniffles and drifts, no coughs, no icks. And I feel better. Or I can be cozy right now and snuggle down for a sleepy snooze. And if it's up to me to choose, why waste time being gray, being blue? All I need to do is be happy right now, whatever the day, whatever the weather. But, but what about when happy right now is a no can do? When the troubles and sadness are are much too much, and feeling my feelings is all I can do. Like a long, 
goodbye, or a puffy-eyed cry, or slow sorrows with no good answer to why. Well, that's okay, too. I can breathe right now. In is one. Out is two. Breathe again. Fill my belly. Let it flow out slowly. Feel my body relax. Let my bones turn to jelly. Remember a now that was happy. Breathe. Borrow an old smile from a brighter day. Breathe. Know that happy will find me again soon. Give a hug and get one. Help somebody. Learn something new. Draw a picture. Bake a cake. Talk it out. Let it go. Take a nap. <laughs> Take two. I'll be happy when I'm hopeful, cheerful, helpful, thankful, reaching for happy until I can grab it. No dragons required. But I would like a rabbit. The end. It is easy to want to wait until things are exactly perfect to be happy. When it stops raining, when your homework is done, when you do get a puppy. But often you can choose to be happy anyway, even if it is still raining. And even if you didn't get a puppy for your birthday. But sometimes, no matter how hard you try to choose to be happy, it doesn't work and you don't feel happy. And that's okay too. That's when we need to slow down and breathe. Help a friend, be thankful, and don't forget to tell Jesus how we are feeling. As Moses told Joshua in the book of Deuteronomy, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Or as Jesus himself said to his disciples, don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God the Father. Believe also in me. See you next week.